Nice stretch of weather coming up for us. Allie, thank you, and thank you at home for joining us. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. Have a good one. Tonight, we're learning more about the extraordinary federal investigation into former President Donald Trump and the legal basis for the unprecedented FBI search of his Florida home. The attorney general spoke publicly for the first time about the Justice Department probe into whether the 45th president illegally removed classified White House records. I personally approve the decision to seek a search warrant in this matter. CBS's Robert Costa tonight has new reporting. Threats against the FBI on the rise. CBS's Jeff Pegues reports on a suspect who allegedly tried to breach the agency's Ohio field office with an AR-15 style rifle and a nail gun. The hours long standoff that followed. Gunfire was exchanged. Gas prices fall to the lowest point in five months, but CBS's Errol Barnett talks to drivers who are still feeling the pain. So you're encouraged by this, but still, I'm looking for more improvement. <laughs> the CDC's new COVID guidelines. More than two and a half years since the virus first hit, the U.S. loosens restrictions. Our Dr. John LaPook is here to make sense of it all. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Margaret Brennan, in for Nora. Tonight, the Department of Justice is asking a federal court to unseal the warrant that the FBI used to search the Florida home of former President Donald Trump. Agents were looking for classified documents that may have illegally been taken from the White House. We learned today that investigators first subpoenaed those records this spring. Fifteen boxes of presidential records were removed by federal authorities earlier this year and returned to the National Archives. Attorney General Merrick Garland said today a federal court found probable cause to justify the warrant and called on a judge to make those details now public. Garland, the nation's top law enforcement official, said that unusual disclosure would be appropriate because the former president is talking publicly about the search. We have a lot of news to get to tonight, and CBS's Robert Costa is here to start us off. Good evening to you, Robert. Good evening, Margaret. It was an extraordinary...